Day six. Did you say suck dicks? So this is it. We're on our final leg of uh, season three, heading north into Pittsburgh. We have a long day of driving. And I'm sure there will be some silly antics and some games being played while we're rolling down the road. This is our turn. What the fuck is this guy doing? Did the map keep back on? No. No, no, you got yours on. I do have to go. That fucking speedway back there is a shithole. You took a leak, right? I did. Well, I had to shit, but I wasn't shitting in that son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Right. Well, I went in the shitter to pee because there was a puddle of piss in front That's of the urinal. Urine. Yeah, I, I contributed to that puddle, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> While I was in the shitter pissing, at least two people that came through did their business and then just walked the fuck out. Didn't wash their hands. Didn't wash their hands. What, put their put their dick hand on the on the pull, pull handle of the door. <laughs> Right. And then went out and probably touched the coffee cups and lids and shit. Oh, so that's that's why he fucking made me open it the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, was this where we were supposed to fucking turn? Uh, Am I going left or right, do you think? Left. Or left. Highway 43. Oh, right man. here. That's it. Oh, look, there's another speedway. I bet their bathroom's filthy as shit, too. It probably is. Along the route, we have uh, we have a couple people that we're trying to get in touch with. We know it's a long day. We were in contact with Darren Morrell and Lamont Sargent. It's not like we have a whole lot of time, either, to stop and see these guys. We do want to just jump in, get in, get out. We're going to give both these guys a phone call and see if we're able to stop and hook up with them while we are on our way by. I'm about ready to pee my seat. Fuck. Let's do it. You want right. to do it together? Well, you pee in that seat, no pee in this seat. Yeah. Oh, shit, too. <laughs> Calling Darren Morrell. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Darren Morrell. Is not available. Los and Dudley here. Seeing what your address is and pl try and plug that into our GPS and see what time we'd be in that area. Give us a jangle. Oh, there's a shitter out there on the field. I hope he answers. One oh, mile for rest area. Oh, sweet. I can't get to my phone right now. But if you do the message that ends with beep, I will get back to you. Thank you. Have a great day. Long Nick Bottles. Yo, yo. Hey, Los and Dudley here. Just wanted to see if you were available to meet up. Los wants a hand job after these long six days. And I want to slurp on your long neck bottle. Which fucking way do I Cars. Know? I lost my fucking focus, man. Call us back. This is my cell phone. You already know the number because it's already in there. But in yeah. case you need it, it's 248-796. Bye. <laughs> well, as it turned out, it didn't work out for us to be able to stop in and uh, see these guys. So, you know, we're on our way to Delaney's now. So here we are heading into uh, wherever the hell Delaney lives. We decided to hop off the interstate to uh, save a couple miles. We had a pretty shitty ride up over the uh, the backwoods mountains of West Virginia. It's awfully cold out, so everything was really slippery. When we pulled into Delaney's, his porch steps were all nothing but a sheet of ice. Didn't even put any salt down for us? Come on, man. However, Delaney was definitely there at the top of the stairs to greet us when we got to the door. Oh, be careful. It looks like it might be a little icy on those steps. Oh, yeah, it is. Whoa. Oh, hey, is it icy out there? <laughs> Yeah. Where's your careful, fucking careful. salt? Uh, yeah. so the, Holy salt shit! Yeah. How are you, buddy? What's up, brother? What are you up to? 
I was on the way for you guys to get here. Eric Delaney and I were in fifth squad together from the minute we met. So continuing into the fleet, we had always been in the same in the same squad. This was in the Krulak years when he was trying to uh, integrate that whole squad mentality and uh, keep everybody together. Ah, get in here. Oh, how you doing, bro? All right. Good. Yeah, I haven't seen you what, since fucking... Uh, Chaz's house? Yeah, 2000, whatever the fuck we were talking about. 2000 something team. My name's Eric Delaney. I uh, am with uh, Weapons Company, 1st Battalion, 3rd Marines, or was, in 1996-2000. Uh, I did uh, six years in the Army uh, National Guard, went to Iraq with them from 2008-2009. I think it's crazy important for uh, veterans to reconnect with uh, their brothers that we uh, shared uh, times with. We spent a lot of time together. We went through a lot of shit. Peacetime, World War time. And I think it's very important that we uh, we go back and uh, reconnect with these with these brothers we had. Just talk about shit, talk about shit we did, and, and uh, reconnect. I saw Los and Dudley like five years ago, but I haven't seen like the other guys that I've been with for 10 or 20 years. And I guarantee, if I saw them, if I saw them today, I, it would be the same thing. We would just hit it off, right? Like we never miss a beat. You live with somebody for four years, and they're part of your life. That's that's, that's how it is. Getting together with uh, guys you served with is. There, there could be no better remedy for going through what you're going through. I mean, guys are going through fucking PTSD and and all kind of shit that you don't know about. And to see the guys that you served with 20 years ago, you can't put a price on that. It's just awesome. It can take a freaking load off, like, all the shit you're going through. I'm going through shit, I don't know how to handle it, and these guys are here, and I served with them 20 years ago. And they were there, and it's awesome. So we walk in, we're hanging out in the kitchen. He offers us a couple beers, which is cool. He's drinking his uh, Calico Jack and Coke or something. Look at you drinking your fucking stainless straw. <laughs> <laughs> we do a cheers and stand around and shoot shit in the kitchen. Fist squad. Oh, yeah, fucking, fist squad, uh, bitch. I don't know if I can give you a fist uh, squad. We're uh, fucking uh, fist squad. Whatever. I was like Stick fucking eight. <laughs> Immediately commenced to uh, Reliving the old times, telling the old stories. Whenever I was living with uh, Webb and uh, Lance Corporal Taylor, when we first, was our first Susan Taylor. moved in. Yeah, Taylor, remember Taylor? He was one of the senior guys when we moved in. Oh, Taylor okay. tried to charge Webb with disrespect to a senior Lance Corporal. <laughs> <laughs> After six days on the road, uh, even though I have kind of a small beard here, my mine starts getting irritated after a while too if you don't take too good care of it. And I didn't grease it up too well, so uh, when we were at Eric's, I asked him if he had some grease, and lo and behold, he did. We need to get more oil in there. Yeah, I got some uh, qualies in there or whatever. What the fuck's that? I don't know, like oil, oil or fucking cream. But it was like grease, I've never used it before, so I took a, I guess it was like a, I don't know, a two finger dip, and I started rubbing that stuff all up in my beard, and I really didn't realize that it was like straight grease. Looks like I just got done jerking off with fucking baby oil. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't fucking tell me that! <laughs> it's kind of greasy. You might want to wash your hands after that. I take a spoonful and he's like, yeah, you need more. A spoonful? <laughs> so we have the banner all laid out. Have him sign that. He puts his handcock on there. He goes over and pulls out a small little case that uh, has, has a bunch of pictures. And starts showing us these pictures that he's got, which were pretty cool. Here's a, uh, it's me and you. Oh, look at that. Look at us. It's fucking funny. <laughs> Most of these pictures, they are of us uh, from back when we served together. Me, uh, Loose, and Bats. Boots and Three whitest dudes in the world. Right? <laughs> We're fucking pimping that Watch shit. <laughs> you remember that one. <laughs> oh, shit, no. Leech. and Leech. With our fucking shirt <laughs> I got mine going straight because I, I said, you know what? I'm not going to wrap them. I'm just going to make them go straight now. <laughs> you know what I think the funniest part of that is? Is I'm the only one not wearing tiny whiteies, you motherfuckers. <laughs> It was good to see all these pictures. We sat there reminiscing, looking at the pictures for the next long while. And some of these pictures I hadn't even seen. These ones are from oh, PTA. Oh, oh, I got Rocky's yours. feet there. <laughs> and here's when like, Paulo took a nice half like, can of Copenhagen. Oh, there you go. For an hour. And here's him puking it up. <laughs> <laughs> As we're looking through the pictures, I look 
past his hands there, and I see Los back there sticking one of our little stickers on uh, on his coffee table. I thought I'd help Eric out and stick one of our uh, Leatherneck Reconnect stickers to his coffee table. I didn't say anything. I like your fucking Leatherneck Reconnect fucking sticker on the table. That's well, that, you put that there, but that's <laughs> worth <of> fine. <laughs> Stay in there now. <laughs> put that one on your on your phone case. No, I'm putting it right in the fucking middle. Here, put that other one on the back of your phone case. See, look at that. <laughs> Guys with big beards are gay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're about wrapped up here and getting ready to head back into Pittsburgh. Right back in the kitchen and we're making our way out the door. Uh, all right, Eric. All right, brother. All right, man. Good to Good see, see you, brother. You, brother. Stop we'll again, again. Yeah. Yeah. We give old Delaney a, a big old hug and out the door we go. Fuck no. <laughs> sure? <laughs> oh, oh, you hell, take him. oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye, brother. Appreciate Good it. seeing you, man. Love you guys. Stop again. Absolutely. Simplify. Simplify. We will do or die. About ready to wrap this trip up, heading into Chaz's. We have. Probably an hour and a half before we, we finish up. It was really good to see Delaney. We're really hoping that it's not gonna be as long as it was this last time. But, like I said, we did see him about five or six years ago. We pull on out of there and uh, on our way back to our final stop in Pittsburgh at Chaz's house.